Well, here's a question as we start the week. Are your friends helping or hurting mm. your marriage? Well, it depends, apparently. Psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini is live with how you can tell which ones could ruin your relationship. That's the last thing we want. Good morning to you, Mary Jo. Good morning. So who would actually ruin our marriage as far as our friends are concerned? Well, a lot of times, Pete, when you hang out with friends and you're with them all the time and they're discouraging or disrespectful about their partner or their own marriage, that rubs off on you. Just like divorces are contagious, so are bad marriages. And so it's really important that you watch who you hang with. Okay, what about, and I guess this is an, kind of an obvious one here, Mary Jo, but, but if a friend talks badly about your partner, that could be a sign that you need to distance yourself from your friend? Absolutely. If they talk bad about your partner, you should defend your partner by staying away with them. You don't have to go up and, and slap them or anything like that, but it's important you let them know that they're not allowed to talk like that to your partner and then just stop hanging out with them. I think also if they talk badly about their partner, that's indicative of people who are unhappy in their marriage. And it puts you in an awkward way because you don't know what to say. You don't know if you should stick up for one partner and not the other. It's just very uncomfortable. And they're telling you they're disrespectful of each other. Now, what about someone who, I guess, rips their own spouse? Does that kind of fuel that fire for your friend to kind of do the same? That's right. Not only that, it makes you feel awkward that you don't know what to say. And if they treat their, their spouse like that in public with you, imagine what's going on in the privacy of their home. You don't need that influence in your relationship. It's important two of you talk respectfully to each other. Mm -hmm. If you've got a friend who's who's jealous, uh, not feeling like, you know, he or she's getting enough time with you, kind of clingy, that could be a red flag. That's right. That third wheel that's always around, they invite themselves over. They're, they're really a close friend. But at the same time, when they're always there, difficult topics that the two of you should be bringing up, you oftentimes don't because your friend is there and you don't want to talk about it in front of them. So it's important you set good boundaries with these friends because it's important we have close friends, but not all the time. You need to save some time for the two of you to be intimate. If you recognize these red flags and you set those boundaries, is that the best way to hopefully keep your friends so you don't lose them in order to protect your marriage? Absolutely, and talk about it. Talk about it as a couple. You know, what you feel like after you leave your friend's company. When you're with people who are supportive and inspiring of their marriage and your marriage, you can feel it. They feel like strengtheners and you want to be with them more. Mm -hmm. When is it okay to talk about your marriage with friends? That seems like it's such a taboo topic. Mm -hmm. I mean, are there certain struggles that you can talk about? I think when you have a really good friend and they're vulnerable too, and they're able to share times they felt like you do, because every good marriage has bad times. Sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's a year, but it's important that you have those people that rally around you, that encourage you, and maybe send you articles or books to help you through a difficult time. Mary Jo, you're always so helpful. Thank you for sharing this advice and hopefully keeping the marriage as, as you know, wonderful as it should be. I hope so, thank you.